Hello, 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 people, and welcome to Call Is On It. So today, I've got with me a diffuser. Now, this is actually a 1M style diffuser, which you can fit on there, quad exhaust on there. So, what I'm gonna do today is essentially, these gaps here, these holes here, I'm gonna fill them with this aluminium mesh. Now, this mesh comes with the grill as well, so I bought this. Um, link in the description as well. So it's a very sort of nice looking diffuser. It's got those sort of, um, you've got some grills coming at the bottom of it, which gives it a nice sort of aggressive look to it. And yeah, I just wanted to basically upgrade my up exhaust system and make it look much different than how it looks now. So yeah, so I'm gonna get that done and then take it straight to a custom exhaust shop. Now, I'm going to DKU Performance and I'm why I'm a bit of um, going to be in a bit of a rush, really. So, worst case scenario, I might not fit the um, the mesh grill yet, because what we need to do is fit the fit the actual diffuser on, so they know what they're working with. Because underneath the car, there's not much sort of space to sort of play with. One sec, let me just get my light. So, if you look under here, if you look under here. So that's where the back box is, which I'm gonna get, which I'm going to remove. I'm gonna get a back box elite. And then I want the quad exhaust system to flow from this side here. So it's pretty much gonna be hanging off from this area here. So yeah, so that's why I'm gonna need to fit it on so they know exactly what they're working with. So I'm gonna get straight into fitting that and then we can get the exhaust done. So let's go. So, in order to remove the rear diffuser, we've got one bolt there. We've got another bolt over here. Another bolt over there. Another bolt over there as well. Also, a bolt over here, there, and also here as well. So, I'm gonna get that removed and then pull the diffuser out so you essentially would need eight millimeter sockets in order to remove the bolts okay that is pretty much all the bolts off now it's time to actually pull the diffuser which no this is the horrible bit well not the really horrible this is the bit Gotta be careful for so I'm gonna lift push this underneath. Get all the bolts together first of all. Five, there we go, got all the bolts together. Place them in one area so I don't end up using them. And now remove the diffuser. There we go. That's now off. Set this aside here. So that's the diffuser off now. Set that aside there. Time to pop the new one in there. I love it, it's also like matte black as well, which is quite nice compared to like the grey. So black on black theme again. So essentially, we're getting in between, clipping the diffuser in between these little holes there. You see them? So see that where that hole is right over there. It's basically clipping each of these clips in there. So best thing to do is start with the first first corner and then just work your way through all the way to the end basically. So this guy playing some tunes, eh? Anyway, yeah so just need to get this bit there and the rest of them and that's it and then we head to the exhaust shop and it's gonna be an absolute mad one anyway let's go
That's it, all done. Fuser is now fitted on. Ooh. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. And this is what they have to work with. So I've got this bit here. I might have to cut into here, to be fair, in order to get it through. Um, yeah, by the looks of it. So that's going to be interesting to see, to be fair. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what the um, we'll see what the um, the guys can do. So this is what it looks like now.